Hello, YouTube. I'm Vinny Badabucci. How you doing? Welcome to... I was going to say welcome back to, but actually welcome to uh, the first ever for my channel NHL 21 Expansion Franchise Mode. Um, I have no idea what I'm actually going to title this. You know, because I already got NHL like 21 Franchise Mode. You know, I don't know if I can fit it all with... Um, expansion franchise mode and plus also add you know the team name and stuff so I don't who knows I don't know it's gonna be a while before this gets uploaded anyways but uh, I haven't even gotten into the playoffs from the uploads yet we're still in the regular season but uh, here where I am now well already won the Stanley Cup of Washington and here we go to start the expansion draft um, so yeah that's our arena and stuff and yeah, instead of yeah, instead of going with Wisconsin, I went with North Dakota Buffalo. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. Sorry, North Dakota fans. No, that that's just our AHL team. We are the Wisconsin Cheese Curds. Like that's what we're going with. Um, I was gonna go with an Iowa team for AHL team, but they didn't have Des Moines, so I said, well, okay, how about North Dakota? Dude, you guys are pretty good and they're pretty big in the hockey too. It's like that. So I looked up animals, and. They had like all different ones. Uh, I know they had North Dakota State Bison, but so I went with North Dakota Buffaloes for the AHL team. That's the logo. I didn't really work on it too much. I'll show you guys the uniforms for Wisconsin, but uh, not until like we're ready to play a game because they're just too damn good. Okay, so we are in the Central Division. It's perfect, right? Because Central, like, hello, we'll be playing Minnesota. That'll be a rivalry instantly. Wisconsin and Minnesota. Fuck yeah, that's going to be our biggest rival. Um, we'll play like Chicago, you know, all the teams there. It makes perfect sense. And plus, I wanted to make sure I had a team that was in the Central Division because I didn't want to have to move anybody. Oh, you can swap. I didn't know that, but that's okay. It's perfect. We, you know, Central is the perfect division for us. Let's see here. Got owner mode. Yeah, I like having owner mode on. Salary cap. Yup. GM firing. Your success is judged by the team owner. Um, because this is my creative franchise, I'm actually going to turn that off. So, that way I don't get fired. Um, yeah, CPU trades is good. Player morale, yeah, fine. Uh, fog of war off, yep. Nope, you don't edit the lines. Only I do. No, not auto stuff. No, why would I have all that? Okay, good, that's off. Alright, let's continue. Oh, okay. Um, let's see if I can... I guess quick settings, maybe? Do I have one for... No, unsa no, I don't want to save it. Discard changes and continue. Preset one, no. Didn't I have my saved one? Yeah, there it is, franchise. Wait, no, go back to, hey. Oh my God. There we go. Why is that five minutes? Man, what the fuck? All right, whatever. Oh wait, yeah, no, it is five minutes. Duh, that's right. I'm stupid. No, superstar. Because we're, we're going to do just like we do in um in, in the Washington franchise do exactly like it where we watch some games but uh you know and, and then that's it not all the games um yeah authentic fine okay was this auto scouting both um you know what? Yeah, because the scouting honestly is annoying, I, you know, to me. It really is. So, um, I almost wanted to say yeah to that, but that's okay. Um, we'll create this as a preset. We like the new game style or overwrite an existing one. Overwrite the existing one, call it franchise. Yeah, th this is how it should be. Let's go to advanced settings real quick. That's no, oh, no, I don't want you auto rotating the goalies. Sim score, engine scoring. Normally I have it on low, but that's okay. Um, medium, yeah, everything's fine. I don't want to really change any of that stuff. Oh, waiver, wait. Where can I turn waivers off? I hate waivers. No, uh, I guess on, but. Trade off for notifications. Yeah, on. Head coach firing pop up. Sure, why not? Um. What is this? Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess for now, but... Morale meetings. Yeah, I remember doing that some other ones. I don't know why that never happened with my Washington one, but... Uh, okay, well, let's start our career. Yep, keep the salary cap on. I did start it just to see what would happen with it. But anyways, that's our logo. It's the state of Wisconsin, I hope. I looked it up and it looked just like it. It had a cheese wheel, so I was like, perfect, because that's what they're known for is their cheese. Everything worked out perfectly. Hopefully this records, because I don't want to do this all over again. This, this is going to be a lot in this video, in this first video. This is going to be, we're not going to probably get into a game at all. So don't expect the game, but this is going to be, well, yeah, no, because we got the whole expansion draft to go in. I think we got the NHL draft as well. So, yeah, like I said, don't expect anything out of it. But I am going to save it at this point, because in case if this doesn't record, then I can just jump right from here. And, and go right to it. So we're going to do a quick savey save. Matter of fact, create a new file. Perfect. Okay. So our leading goal scorer last year was number zero. Uh, his name was Wisconsin Cheese Curds. He was a center. He had no games played. He didn't score any goals. No, anyways, you know, guys, I'm just fucking with you. Um... Okay, let's let's do man expand. Okay, NHL expansion drive. Well, I figured I'd take a moment to welcome you to the Wisconsin Cheese Curds franchise. Who the fuck is you? You have your plate full with the upcoming expansion draft, but I'll touch base again in a few days before the draft. It. Wait, 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 who is this guy? Who the fuck is you? I'm the owner, fool. I'm I'm the owner and the creator of the Wisconsin Cheese Curds. Who the fuck is you? I'll touch base again in a few days for the draft itself after I get a sense of who the other teams are going to make available. Okay. Oh, they got the real salary cap now. Fuck. Because <laughs> that's what it is. It's 81.5. I think it's like that for next year too. Damn, I enjoyed that 87. Son of a bitch. All right. Here's the results of the draft lottery. Are we even in it? Oh. We got the sixth pick. Aw, oh, we could have had the third. Damn. All right, man. Hopefully, we get somebody good with it. I don't know who, though. NHL expansion draft. So, pretty much, the decisions you make in the expansion draft tomorrow will decide whether the franchise sinks or swims in its first year. I'll be keeping a close eye on your choices, as will the fans. Who are you? Like, I'm the owner. I don't get owner mode in this game because it's like there's an actual owner and you're still the general manager. Like either way, you're like the GM or the coach or whatever or something. It's I don't know, man. I don't get it. All right, man. Let's do it, man. Let's begin the expansion job. Boy, am I excited because I have no idea who's going to be in there. I did it before when we had the Vegas one, but um, you know, I don't know though. All I know is you get to pick from every team. And I'm super excited. Now, what I want to tell you guys that the strategy is going in. I'm not doing anything like Vegas did or whatever. Um, I'm going to try to pick most of the time the best available player. But at the same time, if I don't, you know, if they're, eh, you know, like too old or something like that. I'm also going to try and take like a lot of prospects and try and build towards the future. I, We're probably going to have a shitty team the first year. I'm going to be honest with you, you know, but it, it's going to be fun because I'm going to try and rebuild this team literally from scratch, you know. I want to get as many prospects as I can get. Some really good prospects that teams left out in the open. I wonder if Hopi will be here because I heard that he could be there from Vancouver. Right? So Seattle might get him this year. Him and Oshie, that'd be cool. Um, a lot of other players, too. A lot of great defensemen. I was looking, reading this prediction. So anyways, to welcome to the NHL expansion draft as the expansion team. You will have to select one player from every NHL team for a total of 30 players. You must also draft a minimum of 14 forwards. Okay, nine defensemen and three goalies. Well, it tells me in the bottom there anyways. Making pick. Yeah, I know how to make a pick. Yeah, I know that stuff. Okay, let's start right away with Anaheim. What you got for me? Ugh. Well, they're exact. I guess Manson wouldn't be too bad. Ooh, but he's 24. Oh, but he's 22. And he's an 80 already? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can work with this. What else you got? What else did you leave me? Hmm? That's it? Well, I better take a look at your goalies real quick. Uh, 
As much as I like Ryan Miller, no, he's way too old. Yeah, no thank you. Um, did I already look at a defenseman? Yeah. Right there, Brendan Goulet. I think that's how you say his last name is Goulet. Uh, yeah, with the first pick, you know, in the 2021 expansion draft, the Wisconsin Cheese Curds select from the Anaheim Ducks, Brendan Goulet. Come on, he's 22 years old. He's 80 overall already, and he's got medium top four potential. Psh, please. All right, I'm thinking of going like order here, but um, I'm not sure. Oh, and that's right, I forgot about the cap space. He only cost 700,000. Man, what an excellent pick by me. Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall ain't with Arizona. With Boston now. And he was with Buffalo this passing. What? Oh, don't tell me I got them. I downloaded the roster from... It was the, the, well, it was a custom roster. I had to use a custom roster. I, I could take him if I wanted to. Now he's 26. What else you got? What, what is he? Oh, he's 22. Okay. Another top four. Oh, he's low. Medium top nine. He's... Yeah, but he's 23 already. What about your goalies? Anti Ronta might be a good pick. All right, I'll come back to Arizona in a bit. Um, I'll leave Boston alone for now because I got somebody good. Let's go with Buffalo because there probably can't be too much. That's good. Yeah, none at all. Oh, boy. And their goalies, I imagine, ain't that good either. So let's just look real quick. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, jeez. But he's 25 already. Son of a bitch. They didn't leave me anybody. Damn. Like, for real? We got one defenseman already. I'm thinking of taking Taylor Hall from Arizona. I don't know why he's under. Like, all I know is that if I use the default roster from April 13th, right? Which... Today is now April 18th, but at the time, excuse me, I apologize, but at the time, um, it was April 17th, but th that doesn't matter, but um, had I, you know, used that, it wouldn't let me even load up the Wisconsin cheese curds, I'd have to make the team all over again, I'm like, dude, I put hours upon hours into this fucking team, especially the uniforms, because I'm such a huge uniform person, but the arena, the uniforms, the name, you know what I mean? Like, it's just everything, okay? Like, hours upon hours. It took me multiple days to create this team. I'm not doing it again. Like, the next time I do it again is when NHL 22 comes out. I'll probably recreate this team. Because, maybe you know, hopefully at that time, it'll be a newer game. I can get actual views on the, on these videos. But, actually, give me a real quick one minute, guys. I just got to take a drink real quick. Okay, guys, I am back. I apologize about that. Just let me charge my laptop. There we go. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to sit at the edge of my seat. I ain't playing the game. Oh, that's right. It's hard to see. Oh, well. I'm going to chill back and relax. Okay, so for the same purpose, dude, there's like, there's like really no one to take. Like, at all. Um, I don't know if I can change the picks. Wait a minute. So does that mean like Hopi's with Washington or is he with Vancouver? Let's take a look. Because I don't even know if he'll be a part of this, but we'll see. Uh, let's go with the goalies. Markstrom. Ooh, he's at 88, though. Okay. Damn it, you got to make me really go all the way over there, aren't you? Maybe I should start at the end, because, like, even though... Let's see. Oh, yeah, Kovalchuk's with them. Why is this from last year? I don't know. Ho hope he's not here, either. Well, Kovalchuk's now at Washington, is he? No. I would have seen him in the game. Huh. 
Oh no, okay, so why don't you pick it? Alright, well, alright, from the Arizona Coyotes, with the second overall pick in the uh, 2021 expansion, I'm not going to do this every time, I apologize if I do. Um, but yeah, the Wisconsin Cheese Curds select left winger Taylor Hall from Arizona. I mean, he's an 88, come on. I wasn't, he didn't even cost that much. Okay, Boston, who you got, who you got? Ooh, now this is some potential, man. Oh, Jake DeBrus. They love Jake DeBrus. What? Okay. Okay, I could work with that. What about your goalies? Ah, Yaroslav Vlad Vladar, Vlad however you say it. Yeah, I know who he is. I've seen him, uh, like, once this year. Uh, this year. Ooh, Jake DeBrus, though. 23-83 overall. I don't get much better than that. I mean, Brandon Carlo, too. Nick Ritchie. Wow. Uh, um, Andre Kashe, yeah, wow. Thank you, Boston, for <laughs> leaving out some really good exposed players, huh? Andres Bjork. You got Boat Richies? Damn. Anybody else? Just curious. Nah. Okay, wow, they left a lot of guys with potential, though, but yeah, um. Okay, so with the third overall pick. In the 2021 expansion draft, the Wisconsin Cheese Curds select from the Boston Bruins left winger Jake DeBrusque. Hell yeah. Bro, I'm already liking it. Two really good left wingers? Yes, please. And Oh, man. This is good. This is good so far. We, we, we might be able to do something good now. As far as the Buffalo goes, it's just <clears throat> trash. Uh, jeez. I don't even know. They don't have any. They didn't even give up anybody with potential. Does this team have anything? Well, I could. I could take Ellie because he's 25. He would have two years to grow, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Yeah, because other than that, they got nothing. Yeah, because I'd take him over Curtis Lazar. Yeah, well, Lazar they just got this year too. So I'm confused what fucking roster this is, man. Um. Gergensen's is 26, though. See, that's the problem. Um, otherwise, I'd take him because I believe he's pretty fast, ain't he? Where's the speed? Yeah, 87. He's got some good speed. What about Ellie? Oh, he got some speed, too. What's his stats so far? Mm. Yeah. Eh. But he'd, he'd be playing a lot. But he's another left winger, though. Ugh. Well, we're going to take him for now. <clears throat> Remy Ellie. We're going to take him for now, but we got three left wingers, so we got to be careful now. Okay, Calgary. Ooh, Mark Giordano. Ooh, ooh, okay. Not bad. Ooh, Sam Bennett. Ooh, ooh, that's a center. <laughs> I know I'm like, ooh, ooh, yeah, but seriously, though, 24 years old, 80 overall. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's top six. Jankowski, no. Ooh, this guy's good too for that. But we don't have a center yet. Sam Bennett would be a good center, wouldn't he? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So it's either him or was it Giordano? What's his overall? Ooh, but he's an 87. Yeah, but he... Uh, let me get back to you on that, Calgary. We're, we'll get back to Calgary. Yeah. We'll get back to them. Ooh, Brett Pesci. Um, wait, what about your goalies? Nah. Who was I looking at that had a good goalie? I forgot now. Oh, yeah, it was Vancouver. <laughs> uh, Brett Pesci, though, 25. He's already an 83, so that's even good enough for me for defense. Let alone that he's got room to grow. Oh, well, you, yeah, you only got one year left to grow. Ooh. But he's a 78. But he's only a 78, but he's 22. Yeah, and Pesci's only got two years to grow. Hmm. Hmm. He's expected to be a top 4D. Yeah, but something about Pesci though. I like Pesci. So we're gonna we're gonna go with him because he he can start right away, and he's right and left defense. I believe I can change my pick, right? So if I wanted to go like with with Jake Gardner instead, I could just do it. Yeah. Okay. So then, 
Let me pick Calgary's pick. I'm just going to pick everything, and if I need to change some, then I will. As far as with Calgary right now, um, I'm thinking of going with Sam Bennett. So we're going to do that for now to see how that works out. Okay, first off, let me check your goalies. Uh, nothing that I want. Sorry, Malcolm Subban. I like you, but nah. Okay, no, okay, so I need to get somebody with potential from you guys, and why do they got to be 26? Oh, he's 25. I guess that could work. Oh, but he's 24. John Quenville, top nine. Oh, but this guy could be top, ooh, top 4D? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hold on, we got a top six. How the hell is he medium to be top six when he's 25 already? Get the fuck out of here. Um, I think the smart thing would actually be to take the defenseman. Yeah, because he's, uh, yeah, he's, I mean, top four potential over top nine, which would, you know, be like top 60. So I think we're going to, yeah, we'll go with Ian McCaution. Colorado. Oh, damn. I was hoping you guys give up something better. Damn. What about your goalies? Man. Bro, I'm looking for starters, bro. If I need a backup, I'll go and find one, but damn. Jonas Donskoy. Oh, that's all he is, man? Ah. Oh. The Meznikov, too. He's on Detroit. Ah, Nikita Zadarov. Yeah. JT Comfer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Zadarov. And I like him as well, so... Works out perfectly. Wow. Um, top 4D, huh? What was uh, Zadarov, though? Top 4D. Yeah, see, and he's already grown. So we're going to go with Nikita Zadarov. We already got four defense, but we got no right wingers and only one center and no goalies. Okay, goalie time. Man, how'd you only give up him? What the fuck? Lucky? Pfft. <laughs> That's not, nah, that, that's wrong, man. They did, mm, did me dirty. Marcus Nudevara, well, it's actually not too bad. But he's still got time to grow. Grigorenko, well, he is a right winger. We do need a right winger. Hmm. I'm thinking here, ooh. Top four, though, and he's only 23. A center, he's top nine, 23. Hmm. Because, see, I was thinking about taking the right winger, uh, Grigorenko. But he's only got two years to grow. But, you know, still, it'd be good. But, it's like, at the same time, it's like, yeah, but I really want to get, like, the defenseman that's a top four. Yeah, I'm going to go with the defenseman for now. But if I need to, I'll try to remember Columbus right winger. I know we're already, like, 23 minutes. Oh, my God. Dennis Gurionov. Um, oh, a low elite. Hey, but still, though, he's already 82 at 23. Unless you got a better goalie. Hudobin? Hmm, might not be a bad choice. Nah, we, we're going with Gurionov. Thank you very much, Detroit. Okay, so I need to cool it in the left wing and the defenseman. Please, center, right wing, or goaltender. Mm, no goalie there. Okay, center or right wing. You guys are all exact. Oh, my God, another top four medium D. My God. And more left wingers, son of a bitch. Oh, and they look they look so good too. Oh. There's a right winger. Oh, he's only twenty two. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go with the right winger. He's gonna be our first right winger taken. Medium top nine. Seventy six overall. He's only twenty two years old. Welcome to Wisconsin. Okay, Edmonton. Adam Larson. Bro, this guy's a medium top four D and he's only twenty two. <laughs> Bro, I forgot how many good defensemen are out here. Damn, dude, that's going to be hard to beat. That's going to be hard to beat. Let me tell you that right now. And, yeah, you ain't going to beat it. Okay. Yep. We're going with Ethan Bear. Welcome to the team, my man. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to go back some teams or whatever to see... If, uh, as far as with the defenseman. Wait, 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 goalies. 
Man, who the fuck is these peoples? This guy's at 80 over already at 23, though. Mm, maybe, but. Uh, let's see. Okay, he's 24. Ooh. He's 24. He's already an 80. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, though. Oh, he's three overalls. But he's got medium. Oh, no. He's got low top six. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it was medium. Okay. Alright, we're finally taking something else besides a left winger and a defenseman. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Lucas Walmart. Okay. Now, who was it? Was it Calgary, I was saying? Yeah, Sam... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we need to keep Sam Bennett. Never mind. A flinger Taylor Hall. And my cat's meowing again, again. I, I know I said a good... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I don't remember now where I said I could have went else. Oh, I said, uh, yeah, it was Columbus, right? Instead of taking him, I was going to take Grigorenko. Yeah, so we'll take Grigorenko. Okay, can you not go? Go on, go lay down now. Yeah, bring him to you too. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. She always does this when I'm doing videos, too, I swear. Oh, here we go, Martin Furk. Oh, but he's 26. Any good goalie? Jonathan Quick. Wow. But he's only an 83. Damn, he's not the same as he used to be, huh? Oh, what about this guy, Matt Luff? 23, 77. Oh, it says low top nine. Son of a bitch. The other guy's medium top nine at the center. Hmm. I might take the center. Yeah, because Martin Ferg, I'm sorry, that's just not enough. You, you, yeah, one year. And if I'm not mistaken, during this year, though, yeah, they'll they'll grow in age, and then boom, he'll just all of a sudden be done growing and and be stuck there. So I keep forgetting to look at the salaries too, but that's okay. All right, arrival, Minnesota. Let's uh let's really try to hurt him. But I'll be right back, guys. I gotta take a quick drink. Okay, guys, I'm back. I know, I said a quick drink and it took me forever. <coughs> now, I, I don't know what a fringe starter is exactly, but all I know is that it's, you know, it's one less than an actual starter. So here we go. we got a medium starter. He could be a great prospect for us. 19 years old, 66 overall, but he's 19 years old, and he's projected to be a medium starter. Man, Jonas Brodin, I remember the last time when, when Vegas, you know, when we first had the first ever expansion draft in the NHL games, I remember specifically him being like a, a medium elite or something like that, and I would always take him. <clears throat> now he's just a medium top 4D, but he's still a good defenseman to take. But can I get a right winger, please? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ryan Hartman. Okay, so he's still got two years to grow. He's a 79, but he's got a high top 9. Okay, so that could help him grow even more because he's got real high potential to do so. And, uh, and that's what I'm thinking. Or we could go with the 22-year-old 22 22 right winger. But... Oh, we, oh. Oh, we got... An, oh, wow, okay. I didn't know that we could take a left winger. Oh. Well, then. Medium top. Damn. Well, this guy's a high top nine. He's only 20. Ooh. Ooh. 
High top nine, you say? Wow. High top 60. Wow, look at all these prospects they're giving up. Wow. Okay. But I'm thinking of Ryan Hartman because the guy can play right away. Do you know what I mean? He can play right away. So, we're going to try it. Let's take him. Okay, cool. Now we got four right wingers. We need a goalie. We need a goalie, man. We really do. Damn. Okay, first off, let me go over to Vancouver because I'm sorry, but I just remember seeing Markstrom that was like an 88, right? Isn't he like an 88? Yeah, that guy's an 88. Like, I'm taking him. Yeah, the rest of this is just no. Yeah. Nothing, unless there's like an elite here. No, exactly. But a, an elite goaltender will take him. Thank you very much. At least I got one under my belt. Okay. There, now I can focus more. Alright, who else do I want? Xavier Wallet. I remember him being on Detroit. And I think he was like a low elite or something like that. So I remember taking him. And he always ended up doing really well. And now he's only a low top six. That's sad. But hey, the game gets predictions wrong too. Now don't forget, we need three goalies. So I'm not saying... I'm, I know I say now don't forget. It's like... Anyways. Um, so, but yeah, we need at least two more left wingers, two centers, one right winger. We still need four defensemen and two goalies. So, actually, I could pick up some more defensemen. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, Joel Edmondson. High top four, but he's only got one year left. Um, no, you got anybody younger? Like I said, I'm not expecting us to be good. I'm just taking people that I want to. See, like this guy, he's a high top six. But he's still got two years to grow. But I don't know. It's going to be kind of tough to do that. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking... Wait. Can I look at who I've drafted already? Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Duh. But I wanted to look at it, like, in specific order. Can I look at, like, a draft board? Ah, view current picks. Thank you. This way I could see who I got on the team. Defenseman. Because I just want to see how the pairs would go. Yeah, see, I wouldn't even need Joel Edmondson. This could be, like, the first pair. This could be the second pair. They got McCosh. Yeah, see, we could take some... Well, I do got prospects. Um, Wow, look at it. All of them are top 4D. Hey! Hmm. I'm thinking. What do I got for right wingers? Okay, well, obviously, he'd be the yeah first line, second line, third, and fourth. Okay. I thought one of them I had was, like, really low. I guess not. No. Okay, so not too bad so far. Not too bad so far. Okay, so Montreal. Hmm. So I technically don't need him then. I could really draft somebody that I could really, you know, see how he turns out. Okay, so see, yeah, he's a high top six, but this guy is a medium top four. Was there any other medium top fours? No, just a high top four being Joel Edmondson. So we're going to go with the medium top four guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Got to get some guys in our HL squad, too, you know. Okay. Wow, this sucks already. They're all exact. Goalies? Ooh, UC... Oh, UC Saros? Uh-huh. Is already an 84. Medium starter. Hoo-hoo, yeah. I think we found our backup. Our, our future guy. Possible future guy. Yeah, no, unless you got an elite here. No, you don't. Okay, that's it. We're taking UC Saros. Thank you very much. We got our second goalie. Okay, wow, this is working out really well, this draft so far. He's only a low top nine. He's a high top six. Ooh, he's got some time to grow. We got for goalies, just curious. Uh, no, not Corey Schneider. Sorry, dude. I was never that big on Corey Schneider. I know he used to have, like, this fucking elite potential or I think one point he had like franchise or something I was like what yeah and now he's been reduced to a fringe starter not even a starter wow see I knew he wasn't that good I knew it sorry dude but uh okay um hmm let's see here wait but still though he's already a 79 overall at 24 even though he's a low top 90s I'm sure that that could be buffed up. You know, because I notice sometimes once the season's over, sometimes they can get upgraded and potential or downgraded. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, and really, like, anybody else just, eh. You know? Eh. We'll, we'll try him out. Why not? We'll try him out. He's got, uh... Well, this guy's a high top 60, huh? That might be the better option, because he gets two years to grow. Well, now, we'll, we'll, we'll take Miles Wood. We'll, we'll take him. We'll try him out. And then that way we only got one left winger to go. Okay. The Islanders. Wow, I thought this would have been better, to be honest with you. Your goalies? Oh, no. I don't like Thomas. How the hell is Thomas Grace at 84 overall, bro? He ain't that good. He's never been that good. And again, I could be wrong. Maybe he's doing better when I didn't even know it. Ah, uh, there it is. Michael Delco. He's a high top nine? Really? He's only 24 at that. Funny thing is, I signed him with the uh, caps. Ah, Hosang. If he's high top nine, he's medium top six. See? And they're both the same overall, same age. You know? I feel like my better bet would be with... Is that the other Sebastian Ajo? Sure is. I think my better bet would be with... Would be with uh, Hosing than uh, Del Cole. Even though he's he's high top nine, the other one's only medium, but top six is better than top nine. So... And that will complete our right wingers. Let's do it. We'll take Joshua Hosang. Let's go to the New York Rangers. Oh, oh, he's a he's 26. Damn. This still though, he's at 84. I mean, yeah. What do you got? That's it. Okay. Um, strongly considering. Uh, Ryan Strom, even though he's only got one more year left. See, sometimes I get fooled by that. Oh, well, he's a high top nine, but it's like, no, you got to check the age. Even when he's 24, it's like, yeah, but top nine versus the medium top six. You got a better chance with the medium top six, I believe. But I still take top nines. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You know, I just don't want to know, like, age all guys are, you know, more or less bottom six. Um, Well, he, like I said, yeah. And he's already 84, so let's go with Ryan Strom. I think that would be good for our center position. Okay, Ottawa. Anthony Duclair. Ooh, medium top six. He's only 24. He's already an 82. And that would complete our left wingers. I'm sure you don't have a good goalie. Nope, that's what I thought. Okay, I don't see how anybody's going to really beat that one. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll check it out, huh? Medium top nine. No. no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. We're go yeah, and he's medium top six. Let's go. Anthony Duclair, thank you very much. Left wingers and right wingers are done. We need to get three more defensemen, one more goalie, and one more center. Philadelphia, man. Give me a defenseman. Van Riemsdyk. Sean Lawton. Top six for... Yeah, but he's already... Yeah. Oh, here we go. We could get this defenseman. Top six, medium. Goalie. Nope. Okay. Yeah, top six... Uh, medium top six at 23 is already an 81 overall. I like it. Um, yeah. Yeah, and like I said, now I actually got to get some defensemen. So we'll take him. Ever seventh defenseman, Pittsburgh. What you got? What do you got? Almost nothing. Ooh. Ooh, they're willing to give me Tristan Jari, are you? That's, that's their two starting goalies. How'd they put both of them on there? They must have some, like, really good guy there. Okay, well, we're probably going to take Jari. Because 25, he's a medium starter, 83. And if not, hey, it's good uh, good trade bait, I guess. Uh, Bluger, no. Aston Reese, no. Lafferty, no. Yeah, no, nothing here. Mm -mm. Okay, we'll take uh, Tristan Jari. Thank you. Okay, San Jose, the Sharkies, what you got for me, ooh, Ryan Donato, Rambo, you put Joe Thornton up there, I'm almost tempted to take him, but I'm not going to, because these two guys are medium top six, I would take Donato, even though he's a year old, well, actually, he'd probably be better, that's the guy I tried to get with Washington, but then they matched my offer, you bastards, I see, now I could take him, and you can't do anything about it. Mm. Medium top 4D, though. Oh, sorry, goalies. What you got? Nah. 
Oh, I don't need any more goalies. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go with... Uh, should I go with Donato? Let me see something. His stats. Okay. And Grambrell. Gambrell. Sorry. Let's say AHL though. Uh, uh, step forward. He's a third scratch line for it. Step forward. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we still got plenty of cap space. Oh, he could play center and right wing. He could play center and left. Uh, let's go with Donato. You know, probably the smarter choice is probably Gambrell, but I don't know him as well. I do know Ryan Donato from Sharks game, so we're going to take him. Plus, he had the better stats. Wow. Damn, look at this defenseman already. Vince Dunn, 82 overall already, to medium top 4D at 23 years old. They give me Sanford, too. What do you got for goalies? Just kick. Just curious. Not just kidding. I meant just curious. I don't know how he's a medium starter. He's he's only 77 to 25. He ain't going to grow that much. Oscar Sundquist. Damn. Hmm. Wow. Cool. Wait. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go with Vince Dunn because he's, like, ready right now. Are we going to be stacked in deep? Maybe we are going to be a good team. Who knows, man? I got some good players and good potential, man. These guys could grow really but Oh, my God. Miguel Sergachev? A 21-year-old, 84 over already, medium elite potential? Do I even need to look? I was going to say, unless you're giving up Vasilevsky. No. I don't even need to look elsewhere. We're taking him. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tampa Bay. Like, I, I, a virtual handshake. Okay. Oh, my God. Look how that worked out. We got <laughs> five out of five left wingers, five out of five centers, five out of five right wingers, nine out of nine defensemen, and three out of three goalies. Damn, I'm good sometimes. What's Toronto giving up? Giving me something good. Because now these last three, I can pick whatever fucking position I want. Oh, my God. Medium top 4D. Yes. Okay. What's your goalies? Nah. Wait, what was his overall? Oh, okay. Never mind. You got any elite players? Anything? Nah. Okay. What was this guy's over? Or how old was he? 23. Welcome to the team, my dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. This team might be stacked. Ooh, you know what? We're going to save Washington for last. I want to see who I can poach off of them. I'm really curious who they decided to protect. Because we played with that team the whole year or so. Uh, ooh, not too good here. What you got for goalies? Ah. Uh, hmm. He is 24. I don't know. Uh, maybe Andrew Kopp, I'm thinking. Appleton, no. Maybe. That about it, really? Yeah. Uh, top 4D. That could be a really good prospect we could get. 22 years old. Could play in the AHL. I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking. Because he's 22. Let me see what uh, the other guys were again. We had Appleton. He was... Oh, he's 24. Andrew Cop's 25. But he's an 80 already. Wow. Hmm. But we do need, we actually, I think we got to get salary, so. Well, we only have 30 guys, but you can have up to like 50, so I can get a bunch of guys in free agency if I wanted to, so. It'd be good to actually hold on to that cap space. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get Andrew Kopp. All right, Washington, would you leave me? Hold on, wait, I don't even want to see first. I want to see goalies. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. V v Vanacek's only a medium fringe starter? What? Man. That ain't right. Fukal. How is he a high fringe starter? Oh, because he's 70. Yeah. Phoenix Cop, dude, bro. Th so the funny thing is, I just seen an article too. Where in the AHL game, apparently he got like a thing called check of the game. And apparently he was also like trying to start a fight <laughs> with one of the, the AHL New, uh, New Jersey Devil players. I'm like, alright, settle down, Hextall. <laughs> okay, all skaters. 
Oh, that's right, Kovalchuk. Yeah, I already seen all this stuff. Yeah, I know these guys. They're not all that great. Oh, but Sprong is. I like. I like me some Daniel Sprong. Ziegenthaler. Hmm. They trying to give me Pylon. How about that? <laughs> um. President trying to give me Pinho. Hmm. Gersh. Yeah, some good guys though that you can bring up. 22 and 23. Ooh, 22. Okay. He's low. Sprung, though. 23. Yeah, we're going to go with Daniel Sprung. Sorry, Caps. But uh, I like me some Daniel Sprung, man. He's done really well. Okay. I think that's everybody. I think we picked everything here. Yeah, we got uh, Taylor Hall. That's going to be our top guy. And our goalie, Markstrom, at 88. So we got two 88 overalls, man. I mean... Wow. But, I mean, look at the potential, though. You know? Like, if you view the, the current picks, let's go by each real quick. I mean, look at the centers, bro. Every one of them got potential. But every one of them's in the 80s except for Mike Amadeo. And, and you know, like, that's it, dude. Everybody else is in the 80s, bro. You can't go wrong at all, man. I might have to even trade some of these guys for it. You know, just because I might have too much potential. Um, and then the wingers, look at that, dude, Taylor Hall, man, Jake DeBrusque, Anthony Duclair, and, uh, Miles Wood, well, it's kind of almost like a gamble a little bit, same thing with Ellie, but, uh, at least these three, so if anything, I might need to buff up the wingers, but I think one of my centers can play left wing, so that's cool, too. Bro, Gurianov, I can't believe that, it's another elite. I know he's low elite, but the dude's already 82 overall at 23, like, how could you go wrong, you know? Like, come on. Yeah, the right wingers are suffering a little bit. I didn't want to give up too much for it, but that's okay. Still, nice potential, and brought a defense. But this is the, this is the best piece right here, man. I think Mikhail Sergachev. I think this is the best piece right here. I really do. I know I said that twice, but that's just how much I think it is the best piece. 21 years old, 84 overall already, and he's got medium elite potential, and he plays both left and right D. Yay! Oh, man, I'm going to be so happy, man, dude. Oh, man, and these are all great potential guys, man. I mean, like, and they're all, the rest of them are all top 4D except for Felipe Myers. Or Phil Myers. I just call him Phil Myers. And then the goalies, man. We're going to have Markstrom starting, which he's already elite. Exact elite, but he's 88 overall. And then we got two goalies here that are pretty damn good that are in the waiting. That are both medium starters. Like, what? I might even trade Jari. Like I said, some of these could be trade bait. Who knows? And that's it, man. Um, let's finish the draft. Let's go, man. Are you sure you want to submit your draft picks? Once this is once done, this cannot be undone. Yeah, of course I want to submit them. Let's go, man, dude. Here I was thinking that I get this team, and I was like, you know, oh, we'll, we'll probably be pretty bad this year. You know, we're, we're just going to try and build for the future. Well, it turns out we're building for the future, and we're probably going to be pretty good. And there's some. But uh, I think that, that's where I'm going to leave it for the end of this video. The expansion draft. Because there's so much other stuff to do. But we're already, you know, like 49 minutes. Almost 49 minutes into the video. So, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Peace out, everyone. Bye.